Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again for a very special holiday episode. Well, what holiday is it? Wait, it's President's Day. Well, it's about time, you fat-faced capitalist pig dog man-child. Aw, oh, jeez. El Presidente, what are you doing here? It's President's Day, and I am El Presidente. This show is about me, no? No. no. Well, how can you have President's Day without El Presidente? Because President's Day is an amalgamation of Lincoln and Washington's birthdays. A stupido capitalist, you have a holiday for a car company and a state? No. no. Fine, for the city? No, it's the presidents. Right, and I am El Presidente, stupid pigs. Anyway, you can fuck right off because today we're looking at George Washington and Abraham Lincoln by Figures Toy Company. Raz Holly, hit the me- Wait a minute, did you say Figures Toy Company? Yes. Could these possibly be... Dollies? Dollies! Ah! Ah! Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> President's Day is celebrated on the third Monday in February every year, which is kind of weird as the holiday was originally slated as George Washington's birthday, which doesn't necessarily fall on the third Monday in February, it's the 22nd. Washington's birthday was the first official federal holiday celebrated in the United States. It was enacted originally in 1879. By the 1950s, some states would attempt to create a separate President's Day, but the proximity between Abraham Lincoln's birthday on the 11th of February and Washington's on the 22nd, a third holiday celebrating the office of the President in general, seemed like a little much. What we end up with is President's Day. It's kind of Washington's birthday, it's kind of Lincoln's birthday, and it's kind of a general President's Day. Some people get the day off, some people don't. It's called different stuff in different states, and the whole thing is a clusterfuck if you ask me. So anyway, Figures Toy Company, purveyor of Mego-like figures, produced a line of what they call the world's greatest presidents, but only made presidents from the United States. I mean, I know what they're getting at, but come on. So far, Figures Toy Company has produced a few presidents. It's the usual suspects here as nobody really stands out as President Peg Warmer. And in true Figures Toy Company fashion, every president gets a variant outfit, which in the case of some of these guys, is just a different color suit, but whatever. My longtime friend Jamelin picked up Abraham Lincoln and George Washington for me for Christmas last year, so let's take a look at Lincoln and Washington by Figures Toy Company. All right, so let's kick it off with uh, George Washington. We've got the Figures Toy Company clamshell as uh, as the usual. Um, we have the, the official seal of the President of the United States, uh, the Figures Toy Company logo, a beautiful illustrated picture of George Washington from the dollar bill. Um, it looks like the, the logo for the official World's, World's Greatest, greatest President. Okay, um, I, I know why they did it. I know it's because it's like World's Greatest Superheroes or whatever, but like, if you say World's Greatest Presidents, like, where are the, uh, where are the other presidents in the world? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they sell these in other countries, but uh, you know, I don't even know. Who gives a shit? Anyway, this is the first president of the United States, George Washington. We have his, uh, have his autograph up there. Uh, not real, I'm assuming. Um, and then we've got, this is the historical variant. 
um, because every single one of these that they made, they had to make a, a variant figure. I, I don't know why. Uh, and, and what it really uh, ever amounts to with these is like they get a different color suit. At least with this one, um, this would be the one that you would want. You want the blue and gold General fucking George Washington. It's the one that you kind of think of. That's This is the uniform, the outfit that, that you would typically think of in, as George Washington would wear. Um, the sculpt looks pretty good. We'll get, we'll get a closer look at the figure when we open it up. Turning the package around. We see the, uh, the the sort of cross sell collect them all. Um, we have more series. There's more precedents here than uh, it seems to be was produced. So that there might be another series coming up here soon. These are from last year. So uh, you got your Lego mumbo jumbo, and he says, "Figures Toy Company proudly presents its official world's greatest presidents line of premium figures. These quality figures with detailed head sculpts and authentic hand." Handcrafted clothing will enhance any collection or classroom as you proudly showcase these men that have helped shape this great nation of ours. This, this great nation of ours. Anyway, uh, so, so here's George Washington. Let's take a look now at Abraham Lincoln, uh, the 16th president of the United States. Um, in his all black get up. There was another one, I guess. And um, what else would he wear? Would you put him in a fucking wrestling uniform? I guess because you could change his clothes, you could put him in anything. Um, I could dress him up like Batman if I want to. Uh, you know, there he is. So he comes with his top hat. If this is pretty much what you would want. If, if you're going to get an Abraham Lincoln action figure, you want him in the, you know, the black gear and the top hat. He needs the top hat especially. So um, we have the illustration of Abraham Lincoln. Pretty cool looking picture. Official world's greatest presidents. Unlike those unofficial president figures that are floating around um, that I see all the time. Whatever. Uh, on the back, you have a, a few less presidents. This is the, the ones that you can actually get. There's eight of them. Um, then it's the same blurb that we saw on the George Washington and the same illustration from the front of the box. So there we go. Let's take a look and see what these presidents look like outside of the packaging. Okay, so here he is, uh, president number one, George Washington. Um, he's actually pretty dope. I've been looking at him here for a couple of minutes, just opened him up. Um, he's got rubber boots so he can stand up really easily. Just like those Mattel figures, he stands up very well, very simply. Um, you can just stand him there. And one of the coolest things, he comes with a sword. The same sword he used to duel the King of England and, and cut off his head. Um, I don't know. I mean, that I mean, sounds good, right? Anyway, um, so yeah, he's got a sword so he can, like, cavalry, fucking charge and shit, yeah! Um, so yeah, there's that. He can barely hold it because he has these little fucked up goddamn Mego hands. Um, if they, I wish they'd give him a fucking, like, a holdy hand. Just one. One fucking holdy hand. Um, the the uh, outfit's pretty good. Um, buttons seem to be falling the fuck off of it. So um, there's points um, missing there. Um, but I don't know where they're coming from, so that's fine. Um, I think they're coming off of the the uh, the cuffs. Um, they're just little stickers. So careful there. Um, so there we open it up, and he's got his uh, his canary yellow. Uh, he's a uh, Colonel Mustard. Uh, underneath and it was me who did it in the conservatory with the wrench um so yeah he's got little uh little fucking tights on or some shit underneath and uh in his in his rubber boots but this was the outfit that you would have wanted to get the sculpt is actually pretty cool it does look like what you would think he would look like he's got the, like a real fabric ribbon in his in his uh, little wig um that's not you know freaking plugged hair thing God, it's not plugged hair. How goofy would this fucking shit look? Did he have plugged hair? <laughs> um, very cool looking figure. Like, it's not, you can't mistake who this is supposed to be. It's very cool looking. Um, sturdiness test. He's, he's, no, nope, no broken limbs. No broken limbs here. Um, and, and to the dweeb in the fucking comments, it's like, these are, these are collectibles. You're not supposed to play with them that rough, Dan. Um, no. These, it's figures, 
Toy Company. Figures Toy Company. These are for ages eight and up or whatever the fuck. And an eight year old might do this to a, fi a figure. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking put these things to the test. And if they can't fucking handle being dropped a little bit, you just shouldn't be fucking selling them um, for you know what you do sell them for. These things are 30 bucks. Um, they come in the clamshell. You can't get them in a the little cardboard box. You can't get them in a fucking plastic bag um, for cheaper. You gotta pay for them in the clamshell. They're 30 bucks a pop. Um, my opinion for the quality of the body um, because the, the arms will pop off if you if you try to get a little too overzealous with the posing and shit. Um, and they shouldn't fucking do that. You shouldn't want to fucking replace the body right away. And you can. You can replace it with an S-type body and make S-type George Washington, which would be pretty fucking cool. Um, but you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't. These should be fucking S-type bodies just to, just to fucking begin with. For 30 bucks, I should get a fucking S-type body. But all in all, uh, George Washington... Not bad. Be excellent to each other, dudes. <laughs> right? <laughs> there he is. It's Abraham Lincoln um, from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Also, a uh, little known fact, he was the 16th president of the United States. Uh, the, the outfit's pretty good. Um, one gripe. What's with the fucking elastic around the wrists? Um... I don't think they had these type of uh, wristbands uh, back in the day on a jacket. Uh, kind of weird, but all in all, not bad. You can open it up here. He's got his little uh, little, little vest on underneath, little black tie. Um, very cool looking clothes aside from the, the elastic bands on there. He's got some rubbery little shoes on him. No socks. Um, Joker had fucking socks. I don't know why we can't give the fucking president some goddamn socks. Uh, and so he's got his little top hat, and it actually fits on his head, unlike fucking Fighting Yank, whose, whose hat does not fucking fit. Um, so there's that. Um, you do have to, like, fucking cram it on there, but, hey, once it's on, it's not coming off. Also, sturdy. Look at that. Sturdy. Um, doesn't come with any accessories. He doesn't come with the, uh, you know, anything, you know, like a... I don't know. What, what could he come with? <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, not a bad figure at all. Of course, got the 14 points of articulation um, like that we're used to on these uh, Migo style bodies. Um, I wish they would have given them better hands. I hate these little Migo Barbie hands. They're fucking shit. They can't hold on to anything. They just look dumb. Um, they, you know, with a fist or with a, uh, you know, with a, like a little hand that's like this where you can hold something, um, it would be much, much better. But he didn't come with a sword or anything like that. It would have been nice if, if freaking Washington's hands were a little bit better because it like looks fine like that. But when you go to lift it up, it's like, uh, uh, uh. so points off for that. But all in all, um, they are a little overpriced, but but they are cool figures and I mean where else where are you gonna get where else are you gonna get shit like this only figures toy company and only in America well that's it for President's Day what did you think of these figures and what world leaders would you like to see figures toy company take on next let us know in the comments below <laughs> well I can think of one president that is missing oh yeah and the world's greatest governor anyway that's all for this week happy president's day Raz Holly hit the music <laughs> <laughs>